G'day and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at June 27, 2024's Xpairs Thermo by Clover. Uh, Clover's one of our setters here at Gas HQ, so am I. My name is Bill Murphy and I will be solving today's puzzle for you. Um, you can give this puzzle a go yourself. It is in the description down below. Um, you will find the link to this puzzle. Uh, you will also find the link to uh, our archive of every puzzle ever. Um, with gas leaks and all sorts of stuff, links to our Patreon and stuff. You will also find uh, hat times. Hat times are um, uh, a measure of how fast or slow we are. You are solving the puzzles. So, uh, two hats is for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. And uh, if you, you know, uh, don't make it, you still get a dinosaur. We, we, we love to give out dinosaurs. Um, so, uh, that being said, let's get into it. Um, so, this is a thermo Sudoku. So, but what is a Sudoku? Well, in a Sudoku, each box, each row, and each column uh, must contain the digits one to nine once each. Now, um, e digits sep in cells separated by an X. Must sum to 10. Not all X's are given. There's no negative condition today. And along thermometers, digits must increase from the bulb to the tip. So um, it goes from there to there, smallest to largest. That's it. Um, that being said, let's get into it. So, um, all right. Uh, this is, I, so one of the things is with uh, thermometers, um, the temptation is to good lift it. So to put all the possible candidates in. So like the lowest that can be is uh, one, uh, two. So the lowest it can be is one, two, three, four, five. And the highest it can be is five, six, seven, eight, nine. And to put all the possible ones in between. I'm going to solve today's puzzle, fingers crossed, without having to good lift it. So, um, the key things to notice about this puzzle, if you good lift it, you will probably figure this out too. But uh, in a puzzle with X's in it, we can never have a five um, in this. Uh, we can never have a five here. So what that means is, um, because if this was five, this would also need to be five, which would break. So, um, what that means is for this, this is uh, one, two. Uh, so this can never be five. So this has to be six, seven, eight, nine. Now, because that's six, this is four. So this has to be uh, five, three, two, and one. Uh, similarly, this cannot be five. Um, so because that can't be five, uh, that must be four makes this six, which is five, seven, eight, nine, uh, three, two, and one. Now, um, for the rest of this puzzle, this is where things get a little funky. Um, now, what's this cell? Well, it can't be one, can't be two, can't be three, can't be four, and can't be five. So the lowest this can be is six, making the rest of the thermo six, seven, eight, and nine. Um, over here, this thermo, um, what can this cell be? This can't be five, six, seven, eight, or nine. So it must be the lowest it can be, which is four, three, two, and one. Where do I put five in box two and box eight? Well, five rules it out of there. So that's five and that's five. Now, uh, meaning this is four, six, and seven over here, but because this is the end of the thermo, then it must increase to the right. So uh, four, six, and seven, putting a six there. And this is three, four, and six, increasing to the right. So that's three, four, six, and four. Uh, uh, now these digits can, must be less than three, but they can't have a three. So this is two and one. These digits must be higher than six, but they can't include a seven. So this is eight and nine. So uh, where do I put five in row two? Well, five can't go there. 
So five must go here, meaning this is three and seven. Where do I put five in row eight? Can't go there. So five and seven, meaning this is a three. That is all the variant logic done. We are now just onto regular old uh, classic Sudoku. Uh, row one. Oh, where do I put a six? Well, I can't put a six there. So six and uh, one and two on this third row down here disambiguates that. Uh, leaving eight and nine a place in there. Uh, let's go down here because I am pretty confident I might be able to do the exact same thing. Yeah, where does four go in row nine? Four must go there. Uh, eight and nine on this third row up here disambiguate that for us, making that nine and eight. Uh, this is one and two. Uh, seven must go there. One, two, one, two there. Uh, three, eight, and nine to place here. This is three. This is eight and nine. Now, this is a naked single four. That's the only place I can put that. Uh, six there. And now, two and nine to place here. So that's two, that's nine, depending on which, uh, column you look at. Uh, one and eight to place. Same thing here. That's one, that's eight. Uh, what am I going to do? Once, ah. Uh, that uh, can only be one, two, or three. It sees a two and a three there, meaning this is one, two, one. I was thinking about three down here, two and one. Uh, I'm gonna look at the exact same spot on the other side of the grid. Uh, that must be a seven because we see an eight and a nine there and we can only place seven, eight or nine in that row. Eight there tells us nine, eight, nine, eight, nine. Um, so this is us just finishing off this puzzle. Um, this has been X Pairs uh, Thermo by Clover. Uh, my name is still Bill Murphy, last time I checked. Um, I'm very blessed that I'm about to have a week of working from home. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to making more gas for you, um, the viewer. But hey, you know, wherever you are in the world, have a lovely uh, day, week, month, year. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers.